One of the questions I get asked a lot is, Jim, how do you go in front of a group of people and speak in front of hundreds or thousands of people, and how do you remember everything you need to say without using a teleprompter or PowerPoint slides? If you have a fear of public speaking, like maybe you have to give a speech in front of a group of people, maybe at a meeting, maybe in front of class, maybe a toast at a wedding, this is what you could do. There's an ancient code of memory, it's about 2,500 years old, called loci. Loci, and it's attributed to Simonides. Simonides was a Greek poet, and thousands of years ago, he was giving a reading, and after he was done, something really tragic happened. When he left the building, the building collapsed, and it killed everybody that was there. And he, as a lone survivor, had the responsibility of helping the family members identify their loved ones, and he was able to because he remembered where each of them were sitting. And can't you do the same thing? We realize, understanding human memory, that we remember where things are more naturally. Back as hunters and gatherers, we didn't need to know numbers and remembering these words. We needed to remember where the enemy tribe was, where the food was, where the clean water was, where the fertile soil was. That was our survival. So we learned to store information in places. So my quick tip for you is this. If you need to give a speech and you wanna remember it faster and have confidence on stage, then just write down the key points. Like break it down to five, 10 key points because you don't wanna remember it verbatim. A lot of people know that I get to work with a lot of Hollywood actors teaching them the speed read scripts, memorize lines, but you don't wanna remember it line for line, word for word. What you wanna remember are the key points and the key subjects. So what you do is this. Go into your home and notice there are a lot of things there. And what I want you to do is pick 10 things in that room and go clockwise, like maybe your couch, your fireplace, the uh, that tree that your cat sits in, the television, the coffee table and such, 10 different places. And what you wanna do is for each of the key points and things that you wanna talk about, turn each one into a picture because we remember the things that we see. For example, you go to someone and say, I remember your face, but I forgot your name. You never go to someone and say the opposite. You never say, hey, I remember your name, but I forgot your face. Human beings remember what they see. And so what you wanna do is take the key points of what you wanna remember, turn them into a picture, and put the first thing in the first place, the second thing in the second place, the third thing in the third place. And by the way, have you ever found yourself saying these things? In the first place this, in the second place that, in the third place this? That came from this 2,500 year old ancient memory technique. Now, the technique has disappeared, we're bringing it back, but the languaging is still there. So then when you're on stage or giving that presentation, in order to be able to remember your key points, you don't have to work off of a teleprompter, just walk around your home and look what's in the first place, look what's in the second place, look what's in the third place, and you have it. So that's today's quick tip. My name is Jim Quick, your brain coach. And remember, next time you have to be on a stage or in the stage of your life, use this technique and you will be absolutely unforgettable. Hi, my name is Jim Quick. And growing up, I was labeled the boy with a broken brain with all these learning challenges and disabilities. And I went from that to become the world's leading memory and brain coach for the world's top universities, CEOs, and celebrities. Over the past 25 years, I've developed all these strategies and techniques to unleash the power of your super brain. I want to share these techniques and methods with you. I hope you'll join me.